Shouldn't go wandering in dark alleys. Very dangerous of me. Gets people killed. Oh, but surely we're safe with one of Nine Fingers' big strapping boys to protect us. That's her sigil on your ring, is it not? Eyes to yourself, elf. See nine fingers? She didn't tell me. Always don't let anyone through, Tuscon. Never hears a list of special guests. Confusing. Come, I'll take you to the guild hall. Nine fingers is inside. In you go. Before I. to see you in the city. Hope you found plenty of coin in Ketwick's coffers. Ready to do some business? few ideas. I'll be running this whole place in no time. See anything you like? Let's talk price. See anything of yours? No, you didn't. Anything you like? Let's talk price. See anything of yours? No, you didn't. Ready to do some business? I survived the hells when Elturel fell. Compared to that, slipping out of Moonrise was child's play. Sure is. We work for Fetcher, handling what you might call pre-owned goods. Talk to Sticky. He'll cut you a deal. See anything you like? Let's talk. Fetcher isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? Sometimes stuff we sell comes back around to us again. So watch yourself. Got me?
you anything you like. Let's talk price. See anything of yours? No, you didn't. Anything you like? Let's talk price. See anything of yours? No, you didn't. A charm, of course. And then you'll do it yourself. Don't mind the ladies' court. Just a game we play. Figuring how we'll kill you if you cross nine fingers. <sighs> it's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they fail to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection. At the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... We already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's old. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me! This is a private council! Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. You owe me a gold piece, Grandmother. When I heard you died out in the wilderness, I made an offering at Kelimvor's well. Of oh, gold? Oh, I did not know I meant so much to you, Guildmaster. No, I'm terribly sentimental. Case in point, I've just let a harper walk through my guild hall, noticeably unholed. Because I'm curious about why you're here and who it is you've brought with you. This is the one who saved my life. So really, he owes you your gold piece. But we can settle debts later, Nine Fingers. For now, we need help. We're searching for Mints of Rashomon. A big name, that. Such information does not come cheap, High Harper. Not in normal times. Of course. Seeing as these are not normal times, and we're all such good friends, I'll do better than tell you where he is. I'm bringing him here as we speak. Or... parts of him, at least. I gave no orders about the condition of his goals. What treachery is this, Nine Fingers? Have you thrown in with the Absolute too? Against my own city? Careful. You're in very real danger of hurting my feelings. It's Minsk who's found his faith with Faerun's newest god. And a new name with it. Stone Lord. Lies. It should. My people speak it in the same breath as Saravok and Demogorgon. But he's just another upstart. In his short reign, the Stone Lord and his crew have earned a reputation. Pure brutality. No survivors. And where he mows my people down, this ripe little cult takes root. But not for much longer. We have word on where he plans to hit next. And he'll find us ready to hit back this time. Nine fingers. Estelle. Call off your ambush, tell us where he is, and we'll handle this. We? I see no harpers, Jahira. I'm sorry, but this fight's too big for you alone.
I don't let trust tie my hands. That's why I sit in this very fine office. The Stone Lord's fate is sealed. We have a bigger war to fight. I'd rather turn our talk to that, but if you need a moment, Jahira, well, you've earned that much. My guild hall is open to you. Have a drink, Jahira. Have a rest. Just leave well enough alone. It would be a shame for the city to lose two of its heroes in one day. There's little point in pressing Nine Fingers further. She means what she says. But we swore no vows. She won't tell us where to find Minsk? Someone else in her guild hall will. We need to be swift. I suppose we must greet the local wildlife. Guild hall is awash with ill scented gossip at the best of times. These days, they have nothing but the Stone Lord to talk about. See anything you like? Let's talk right. See anything of yours? No, you didn't.
See, see? That Fingers is a master of strategic. Strategical. She's clever, Fox. Won't fight the Stone Lord out in the open, but she's got a spot picked out, see? And. and uh... I don't care about Stone Lord Tut. Don't care about some ambush. I asked, do you eat my last pickled ooze? Huh? Bugger off! I'm talking to my friend about an ooze. Now, now. He who keeps his manners keeps his teeth. Besides, you are only pretending to be as wine-soaked as your friend here. I... How can you tell? I've been to fouler festivals than this, and you have the stage presence of Volothamp Gedarm. Now, you were speaking to my friend, politely. Fuss. This one has respect. <sighs> now, where was I? A stone lord, aye. Master's going after the accounting house, but he doesn't know that there's just another guild operation. Eh? Nine Fingers is gonna catch him with his claws in their coffers. <laughs> I pity the bastard. The counting house. But what the hells could Minsk want there? Happy? Now, why were you? We want drink in peace. Yeah. Come on, Frost. Another. God, I think even they'd have their work cut out for them. Maybe. Either way, I'd be able to stick to Finna's trousers. Busy. Sorry. All right. Calm down. But I have business to transact. Welcome to the Counting House. I'm Head Clerk Mead, honey. How may the Fellowship of Financiers serve you? You seem a little nervous, Sarah Meat, honey. Had some difficult customers today? 
One in particular calling himself the Stone Lord, perhaps. The who? The what? All right, fine. The head banker may have just taken a customer by that name down to the vaults. Rather large, rather heavily armed, which is against regulations. But I'm sure the head banker knows what he is doing. <laughs> I assure you, he does not. You are right to be nervous. But let us pass, and all will be well. Uh, well, who is this Stone Lord to you? That would be most unusual, but then so is our visitor. <laughs> that he is. But don't worry. We can handle him. Very well. Show the guards this temporary vault pass, and should my superior ask, keep my name out of it. More unmarked withdrawals. You could at least try to hide. The count holders only from here. Vault pass? Right. <clears throat> Descend and know. Upon entering the vaults, you forego the protection of city and church law alike. Which is to say, keep to your own vault and you'll be fine. In men's apparatus. Mark the notice in the barracks, by the way. The <laughs> is banjacks. Just need to see your vault pass, please. Walks in order. Blessed day to you. Be wary. This place is trapped. Things have stayed interesting. Well, well, well. What's next, I wonder? Let me guess, you need something. Still alive, so that's progress. your fussing. Nine Fingers had this one made especially. Hello, Marvel. We'll barely slow it down. But the stories... 
stories. Tall tales and big names, lad. Don't let them fool you. Elminster the Archmage. Drist, the Drow Exile. Heroes have power, I. But not half so much as we do. A little coin into the right purse. A soft word in the right ear. It's not glory that spins these planes, lad. It's gold. See? No. Morrigan's cracked clay. There is one thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath. It is those who are tricksome with the truth. And turnips. But you are no turnip. Let that be of comfort. In your final moments! <laughs> Meet Minsk! He still seems very much himself to me. You... Stone Lord? Ha! Huh. Better to call yourself Stonehead! Your false face does not fool my eyes. I will cut until you look like the monster you truly are. Somehow, you are making even less sense than usual. Perhaps I can explain. The Stone Lord sees through your lies, shapeshifter. Count yourself lucky he cannot stay. Oh, nine fingers set a poor trap, little banker. Let the Absolute's faithful show you how it is done. Now come, Stone Lord. We have the gold. And the Absolute has need of it elsewhere. As you say, Jaira. Shape changers! Enough! Let us deal with these cultists, then find out where they are nesting.
swift as my feet can carry me. Can't give up. Not now. Got to move. Jimmy on the go. to battle. focused. Soldier. Quickly. Another step forward. Got to focus. Have to keep going. Incoming. You can tell Nine Fingers this was not my fault. She swore that Mimic could swallow a bloody owlbear. Wait. 
You're no guild sworn. Who are you? Gratitude of the gold variety, I suppose you mean. Good luck with that. The Stone Lord just cleared our vaults. And now he has enough gold to make himself a lord in truth. And he wouldn't even know what to spend it on. It's the cult that needs that money. Why? You think anyone told me? Nine Fingers sent word the Stone Lord was going to try his luck on our vaults. So she told me to cooperate. Lure him in. Yes, sir, Stone Lord, sir. Shall we open the account in your name or the absolutes? Just step this way to your special deposit box. Don't mind the teeth. <laughs> No one mentioned he might have some old crone dropping in as backup. Crone? Uh, look, I just mean to say, we both want him caught. If you've got your sights set on the Stone Lord, anyway. As chairman of the Fellowship of Financiers, I can assure you we'd reward you well for the return of the coin he took. Not for us, you understand. For the common Baldurian. Who knows what he's planning to do with it? Try all of it? Every penny of civilian lodgings, anyway. I mean, not like we'd lead him into the private vaults. But still. A lot of Baldurians waking up poor tomorrow. What he can do with that kind of coin... Oh, ...doesn't bear thinking about. Good for you. I happen to care a very great deal. Retrieve the coin, and I'll make sure you are well rewarded. There's treasures greater than gold. Feel free to poke around this place and it'll help you pick up the Stone Lord's scent. Me, I've got ledgers to amend. Footprints started in the sewers.
isn't it? Better to avoid it. Just as I was getting bored, our Lord sends us a little diversion. Ready for this. into position. Well, so much for peace. Cut it to the chase. Take no joy in this. What now?
Simply straight path. Another fight. Let's go. I think you can take me on. <laughs> Another close ranks. Still on my feet. Death greets us all, but not today.
King. Does that have a transcript of a conversation with Archduke Gorton? Yes, yeah, sure. What's he got to say for himself? Look, remember, look. It's so sad. Lots of talk about the brilliant future of Gorton's capital. City of Steel. Does he say anything about the horrible present of Gorton's City of Crime.
I can wait to show off the scar to a friend's story. Be worth a look. Easy. This place is hungry for blood. All's well that ends oh. as bad as it could have. All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your lord's work. Our lady. We serve only the absolute. Oh, silly me. We enter him are so long past our own godly roots. I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend, too? <coughs> Rodent. Enough! You will show the Stone Lord proper respect, and you will return to the Guildhall and do as we have paid you to. 
Of course. I only thought... Wait. And suddenly, another presence looms in your mind. Another temple. Some sneak thief lurks nearby. The same one I sensed in the counting house. I can taste your thoughts, coward! Come out, so I may spill them on the ground! On that note, good luck. The job will be done by the time you get to the Guild Hall. Eat it. You picked the wrong fight. <laughs> Serene she might seem, but nature is of course. Have an evil, much uglier twin sister? Lins does not like this.
I won't give in. but to keep going. I think I could go another round. Where do I go from here? But another harvest. Well, so much for peace. These boots have seen everything.
same old song. Blood comes easy these days. Strike hard, strike fast. Against the darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage flaring brighter every moment. Stay down for long. Tell your related to protect him from the Elder Brain's influence. Quickly! No. This one will not aid our cause. Get rid of him. <laughs> Don't be foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. coerced into protecting him. You do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. The Mind Flare pours poison in your ear, I think. Tell it I will tear the prism from your grasp and throw it into the deepest lava pit I can find. Long after our bones are dust and ash, the walls of its prison will still be burning. Now help my friend! She bluffs. Surely she would not risk the fate of all for one simple life. Fine. Have it your way. His mind unfolds beneath yours. A still lake pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by, battles fought, and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper, as a familiar face crystallizes before you. Jahira... You killed her! You are being dramatic. The instant's hesitation is enough. With a sensation of terrible rending, something vast and nameless falls away from his mind. There. It is done. <laughs> Jahira? I do not understand. Good. That means you're back to your old ways. We have a lot to discuss. But first... You have someone to thank. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once more. More memories, sensations, but passing too quickly for you to track. In the same breath, you share everything that happened to you. The Nautiloid, the Absolute, the Chosen of the Dead Three. You... You saved Minsk. While he danced like a Mind Flayer's meat puppet. Why? A level head and a kind heart. It is well that Boo kept me from crushing either. I would be rid of this parasite. Minsk takes orders from only one tiny beast. And he is much cuter than any mind maggot. He is... Uh, he is... Where is he?
My friend, from our brief sharing of skulls, I know you have faced many strange beings, but none like this. Whatever happens, show no fear and stay your hand. Trust in Minsk. Minsk finds that the less thinking he does, the easier the trusting comes. Wait! You gaze into Minsk's soul and see his foul crimes. You smell the stench of evil upon him, pointy claws primed, ready to scratch out his eyes. I am sorry, my friend. I am at the mercy of your faultless justice. Now, if you must burrow through my blackened heart, I am ready. No? You are certain? <laughs> Such boundless compassion. You are all heart, and whiskers, and cute little nose. Uh, you are right, of course. There is still much evil for Boo and Mince to stamp out. But we need not fight it alone. I have a new face to show you. But it is not a villainous one for the clawing, understand? You, this is Boo. And Boo, meet you? No, it is a hamster. A miniature giant space hamster. Fear not, you will learn the difference in time. Those villains locked Boo away, lest his righteous gaze cause their tadpole to flee in terror. Now we are together again. All will be exactly as... Boo, why do you use such language? Ah, uh, once more, my hamster proves himself my greater half, and makes the path clear when my mind is fuzzier than his tiny bottom. He says we will join with you, and cleanse Baldur's Gate of Evil, together! I give you my solemn vow. Should any of us show signs of weakening to the worm, or any other evil, Boo will slaughter us all in our beds. I hope this brings you comfort. You have a great many companions already. There is no room for little Boo, or slightly larger Minsk. Boo and I are most adept in the doing of things, but as you wish. To camp then! For his heroics here today, Boo has earned the most vigorous of back scratchings.
It's gonna need a family, no matter what happens. The broad she's gone to pot ever since I left. Probably just a dead cat. Maybe a few dead cats. You survived. Which means my employers are dead, I take it. No matter. Gives us a chance to talk. Nine Fingers is done. My Xenterim stand ready to purge this place of everyone loyal to her. So all I need to know is, does that include you? Or not? You fail to see the bigger picture. Yes, they offered us money, but more than that, they offered an opportunity. The money is a bonus. The Zenterim have been trying to crack Baldur's Gate for years, but Nine Fingers' grip has been too strong. And look what it's come to. Her guild is disorganized, undisciplined. The cult broke them in a matter of days, while my Zenterim still stands strong. A guild under our control can do what Nine Fingers failed to. Drive the Absolute out of the city once and for all. We're all on the same side. If there are spoils to be split afterwards, well, I'm sure there's enough to share. <laughs> a hero. There's a time for heroics, my friend, and a time for common sense. This was the latter. To arms, Zenterim! The guild is ours! Once we clear out the vermin. Need to learn the hard way.
my way. Not pinned down just yet. What do I have to lose? my breath.
See anything you like? Let's talk price. See anything of yours? I suppose I should have seen that coming. Zentarim aren't known for their loyalty, but I thought the bastards would keep to their contract at least. I'm too nice for my own good, I suppose. But I was in a pit, and you helped pull me out. For that, I'm grateful. You'll have what guild blades I can give when the time to take the absolute comes. So, just tell me what you need to get us there. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared, I went nosing into the cult for myself. I could bore you with the details. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects. Traced him to Orin the Red, and made a safe bet there was some dried-out old necromancer to round out the three. Because it's always the dead, bloody three. Has been half-gods who can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's problem. Oh. You've got some juicy little tidbit I haven't heard yet. Huh. Hmm. It seems like my intelligence on you was patchy at best. That's annoying. I had no intention of leaving my city in the Dead Three's hands. Definitely not leaving it to some slimy shit that doesn't even have hands. So, as long as you can keep a lid on what's growing inside you, we're allies. Until you can't. And we're not. Simple enough, I reckon. Now, war to be fought. You need anything? Oh, did you enjoy the encounter? A charitable donation to the good protectors of Rivington. Was that the tune that played you? The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly, so I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. You have done plenty. Do any more, and the guild might have to take a special interest in you. Understood? Gray.
I think you might have made a terrible, terrible mistake. Huh? Chasing rumor halfway around the city and back. Crossing the guild. Wading through filth. Defying the one creature upon whom your very life depends. All for a madman and his rodent. It was no mean feat to make nice with the sourest puss in the city, by the way. It took years for Estelle and I to trust one another. The Absolute threatens thousands, the entire coast. And still you risked much to help one man. I should berate you, but I can only say thank you. Your reasons were your own, but whether you meant for it or not, your fight is our fight, huh? Both of us, to the very end. He is an ass. I can make no promises beyond that. But even so, lead the way. We're yours to command. My friend, now we have settled the matter of the guild. I fear there is something I must tell you. You and Boo both. It may shock you both to know, but Minsk and this Stone Lord, they are one man. The same one man. And that same one man is Minsk. Please, my friend, your noble tears will not make the confessing any easier. I wish to believe the Stone Lord's evil was the worm alone, attainting my thoughts with foul dung. But I see now the dung was within Minsk all along. So I wonder if Minsk can be a villain and Nine Fingers a hero. Must it be so with all creatures? Is there good and evil within us all? <laughs> Boo calls this nonsense. Less thinking of bad thoughts, says he, and more breaking of bad bones. But still, I would hear what you have to say on the matter, my friend. Even though it led to evil ends. And even the true Jahira is not always right. She sometimes pets Boo a little too roughly. Or denies him the breakfast broth so that I must dip him in the pot when she looks the other way. I begin to wonder if good and evil is not a thing of knowing. If it is sometimes a thing that Minsk must decide for himself. Alone. Which is why I'm asking you. <laughs> it is strange. A worm sits within my skull, twisting my thoughts. But it is you that have made Minsk see the world anew. You, my friend, are the true parasite! There is good and evil in all. Let us go crack villainy skulls so that the virtue might leak free. Yes, Boo. I am becoming something of a philosophizer. <laughs> 